Hello Internet. I have been wanting to replace the car battery in my car with something that's going to last longer and be lighter weight and just kind of experiment with new technology. And so that's why I've gone ahead and purchased this lithium iron phosphate 4.2 amp hour battery. And here I've got uh, six 350 farad capacitors in series. And you can see the balance LEDs down there just uh, regulating the voltage and keeping each capacitor's voltage uh, within the similar range. Now I want to connect the battery to the supercapacitor to keep the supercapacitors topped off. They can't hold a lot of charge, but what charge they do have, they can dump in a hurry. And this is what's going to start the car and supply energy whenever there's a high load uh, on the electrical system. The battery is just going to keep things topped off to limit the current flow from the battery, I've got a 0.2 ohm 50 watt uh, resistor. I've also got two meters here. This meter here I'm using to measure the current flowing from the alternator when the car starts and is running. It's going to flow through the alternator, through this limiting resistor, into this meter, and this meter will keep track of what the peak amps are and what the total amps are and the total amp hours basically all the information you need to know this meter here I've got set up uh, kind of opposite of the other one and that's going to measure the discharge amps from the battery to the supercapacitor and I want to make sure that the amps going to the battery and from the battery are within safe limits I want this battery to last a long time I've also got this uh, voltmeter connected to the supercapacitor. We're going to keep an eye on the voltage. When I start it, we want to see how low the voltage sags. So to do that, I'm going to hit the min-max button. It's going to record what the lowest voltage is when I start the car. Now, I've already got my clamp meter set up, but this is going to measure the peak amps drawn uh, from the starter motor when I start the car. Let me go ahead and hook these two meters up here, and these will measure the amperage to and from the battery. Make sure that those don't go outside of the limits that we want to set here. And note that the car battery itself is not connected at all. Those, those posts aren't touching anything there. So let's give it a start and see what we come up with. Wow, on this start, it drew 213 amps. Kind of high, but I've seen higher and I've seen lower. It's kind of typical. Now those are peak amps. Once the motor starts kicking over, uh, the, the amperage will drop off very quickly. Now, let's take a look here. How much amperage did the battery supply while we were cranking that over? It said 14 amps peak. So when I was cranking, this battery was only supplying 14 of the 213 amps, which was limited by this resistor. So the resistor is doing its job. Here it shows about 3 amps peak um, when the car started and, and the alternator started charging the battery. And then on the voltage here, we see that it only dropped to 9 volts 